I arrived yesterday um, at about five o'clock. Okay. And I played an acoustic show last night at oh, the you? House of Blues Foundation Room. How was that? It was good. And then I went and had a little dinner, and um, then I took it up to the to the room and kind of tried to sleep. That's that's what everybody's saying. I'm like, oh, what did you do your first night? And I went home and I ate something and I slept. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. I mean, what, I, got, I guess you got to pace yourself, right? I mean, I pace I pace myself pretty good. I mean, I didn't just go to the room and just sleep. Okay. But I mean, I, right. I just it's radio here. I can't can't give you every <laughs> kind of detail. All right, all right. I understand. Um, but you have more plans for the rest of the weekend, right? Um, I do. I do. I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna go to the award show on Sunday. I'm oh, gonna play not. some golf tomorrow morning. Are you playing with and Nate? Will be there because he's all jacked about the golf. Is he? That's all he talks about. Yeah. I'm looking forward to. Uh, is he playing the tournament? Uh huh. Awesome. I'm li- really looking forward to beating him. Yeah, you should because he just thinks he can win at everything. Yeah, but he can't. He can't. He we can't. We need to let him know that more often. I think. Yeah, I think so as well. You want to help me with that? I will. Sure. Okay, great. Perfect. <laughs> um, so tell me about your new music. Oops, 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 oops. Alone with you. Right. Love it. Everybody else obviously does. Yeah, it's uh, number one song in the country right now. How do you feel about that? I feel I'm elated. I, I could imagine. Yes. Um, and I'm actually really flattered that the my music and everything's starting to pan out the way it is right now because for a long time I mean I've had a record deal for all six years and finally six years later into it um, after putting out numerous songs it did pretty well on the radio but um, a big hit is what really changes everything and right. Barefoot Blue Jean Night really changed my life last summer and then um, it really got people's attention to where when I put out Alone With You they were ready for it you know yeah. so we have a new single coming out it's going to be uh, called The One That Got Away okay. and uh, it's It'll be out, I would say, first part of May, perhaps. Okay. Yeah, That's so. Exciting. Yeah, so I'm excited. Everything's really, really good. And most importantly, I, I think that when any artist, whether it be myself or any other folks walking up and down the hallway, when you become completely content and comfortable with who you are, what you're singing about, you're not trying to be or do anything, right. you know, to, to fit in, it's when really when things start happening in a very organic way. That's great. Yeah. It seems like you're happy with it. Can, I mean, how could you not? I'm happy super now? happy. Um, and you've been doing all these different shows. Jay Leno, I saw you on Chelsea lately. Absolutely hilarious. I mean, did you, how is it going on those shows and getting to deal with those kinds of people? I mean. Uh, it was, it, I, what I've enjoyed the most about the, the shows is uh, the people that I meet that are on the show. Okay. Um, when I played Jimmy Fallon, uh, Donald Trump was on the show. <laughs> Um, uh, there, when we played Jay Leno, Elizabeth Banks was on the show and Carson Daly was on the show. Um, I'm trying That's to think. Cool. People you yeah. wouldn't normally just run into. Jimmy Kimmel, when I played Jimmy Kimmel, um, Kate Upton, the girl on the front cover of Sports Illustrated yes, Swimsuit Edition. Her. That's fantastic. Yeah, I got to meet her. She was, <laughs> she was okay. She was all right. She was all right. And not, your, not super memorable, obviously. Yeah, she, yeah. Um. <laughs> But uh, I, unfortunately, she wasn't wearing that little thing that she cover. has on the cover. Yeah, there's like this piece of fabric, like this big. She wasn't wearing that. Like, no. Why not? Uh, it's what Maybe I said. I was always. like, let me see it. Right? Are you wearing? I mean, it if you're on the cover of a magazine for the entire nation and world right. to see, you should be totally okay just showing me yeah. right now. Yeah. And did she respond in any appropriate way to you, or did you not? Um, she just told me she didn't bring it. So I was like, well, sweet, well, let's just go to the beach later then, and um, well, let's do this, you know? I, so you set a plan and everything, it sounds great. Uh, I basically gave her no option whatsoever to turn me down. Oh. Yeah, but she did. She still found a way. Yeah, well, she had a lot of handlers around her and things like that, which yeah. I can handle her just fine. She doesn't need all those handlers. It's just so I figured it was just a waste of money for her. I, I, could, have, I could not only handle her, but I could save her a lot of money. You and should probably have pitched an idea to her about doing that. Yeah, you're they probably right. Me, we yeah, it's like we're getting that weird, awkward, whatever this means right here. I think it means like, I don't know wrap what that means. Or wrap like, it up. It's so it weird to hear that in Vegas because I feel it up. it's like it's the truth. You, know? <laughs> you really should, especially when you're here. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, and how are you feeling? You're <coughs> collarbone, right? Uh, 
it's it's let's call it the clavicle. The, the clavicle. The clavicle itself is uh, it's feeling really well. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Yeah. You're welcome. Are you like fully? Oh, I'm healed well enough that I'm gonna take Nate Deaton down in the golf tournament tomorrow. I hope I'll replay that for him like 15 times. You should, Nate. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Perfect.